I actually do a lot of prep work before we even go out on an adventure. Hi and welcome to Aiken Adventures. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a different video today. I know y'all are used to seeing us at a theme park or a splash pad or just any kind of park. <laughs> and normally Anthony is the one that's in front of the camera and I'm usually the one in the background and that's because I'm taking care of the children I'm pushing the stroller, I'm handing out snacks, I'm doing all of the mom things, and it's kind of hard to film when you're doing all of those things. So that's why you usually see Anthony up front in the camera and me in the background. I'm also a little more introverted, so I think a lot of exciting things in my mind, but I don't always say them out loud, and I'm not really good at that. So that's another reason I'm not always on video. But today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, what does Elena even do on adventure days? And I'm doing the mom stuff, but I actually do a lot of prep work before we even go out on an adventure. There's actually a lot involved with taking two kids to Disney World or any theme park. So I'm kind of gonna give you just a little bit of an insight on what I do to get ready for a full day at a theme park with two kids. Okay, the first thing I do is I gather up all the appliances the day before. So earbuds and tablets and uh, DVD player that Vivian can watch and do her school on. I have to gather up all the appliances and make sure they're charged because you wanna do that the night before, not the morning of. So pro tip there, but I'm gonna go gather up all of our appliances. All right, I got the earbuds. All right, Vivian's actually using her tablet right now, but it's plugged in. So as long as it stays plugged in, then we're good. And I got DVD player, charger, good to go. So now that I have all of our appliance charging for tomorrow, then the next thing I'm gonna tackle is the diaper bag. Now, it's nice that the kids are a little bit older. I don't have to pack this massive bag and tons of different items because when, especially when Pierce was a baby, you, know, you have to carry all of these different things for infants. But now that he's a little bit older, it's actually a lot easier to pack the diaper bag, but I still do it the day before because 15 minutes the day before is a lot easier than 15 minutes early in the morning when you're trying to get out the door. And if you're a mom, then you know. This is the diaper bag that I'm currently using it's nice because it also doubles as a backpack and that's super helpful when you're traveling through a theme park is to have a backpack so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and empty this and I'm gonna repack it because I don't like disorganization I like to know exactly what's in it and so if I take everything out then I can see what I have and I can pack the things that I don't have so I went ahead and emptied my bag now that I have everything on the counter I can see what I need and I need to pick out a couple more diapers. I need to organize our snack bag because that's very important when you're going to a theme park. That way I kind of have a detailed list in my mind of what I have in my bag and I don't have to panic that I'm missing something. So it helps me to kind of lay it all out there. This is what I have so far and this is pretty much the basis of what I will pack in my diaper bag for a day at a theme park. I have the cups set out and obviously tomorrow I'll fill those up, but I like to make sure I put them out. That way I don't forget them. Um, this is for Pierce's milk. I put it in an insulated cup to keep it cool throughout the day, but he still drinks a bottle when we take a nap in the van. And so I always make sure to fill that up with milk for him. I packed my snack bag for the day. Obviously we're not gonna go through all of these snacks, but just to be prepared, I have a variety of things that I know they will eat both in the car and while we're in the theme park. I have diapers, wipes, and I always have an extra outfit for Pierce. I might pack more than one just because he's two and he's a mess. So this is pretty much what's going to go in my diaper bag for Disney. And of course for Anthony and me, I pack Active and Hydrate. Active is a natural source of energy that we definitely need when we're going through the theme park with kids. <laughs> and another is Hydrate, which doing any theme park in Florida, you always have to be extra hydrated. So we never ever go on an adventure without these two. I also always keep a big pack of water bottles in the back of our van, especially ahead of going on an adventure day, because we just can load those up in our stroller and we can go through Disney. We don't have to worry about buying a $10 bottle of water. So if you travel to theme parks, especially throughout the summer, always keep a pack of water bottles in the back of your car. And the next thing that I do when getting ahead of packing for a day at Disney is I always lay the kids' outfits out the day before. That way I don't have to mess with that because inevitably it will be six o'clock in the morning. We're trying to get out the door for a theme park. 
because it's a couple hours away and I'm trying to find a matching sock or a matching shoe because Pierce puts his shoes all over the house. So to save myself some sanity in the morning when we're getting ready to go to Disney, I always lay the kids' outfits out the night before. That way everything is laid out and we're good to go. I have all of their clothes laid out for in the morning. I have Pierce's outfit and then I also have Vivian's outfit complete with shoes and socks. I also have their sweaters packed or laid out because it is Florida and it's probably gonna be about 70 something degrees tomorrow, but in the morning it's gonna be in the early 60s, which for us is cold. So I went ahead and packed their jackets. So those are all laid out and that's one less thing that I have to do tomorrow. While Elena gets the kids ready and prepares all their clothes and sets those things out, one of my responsibilities is to set the agenda for uh, the day and kind of look through our plans to find out what we want to try to accomplish. So I've already gotten the reservations for our park tomorrow and we're going to Magic Kingdom. And our agenda tomorrow is that we wanna to try to do two videos in addition to this one. Uh, we're gonna try to do our favorite Disney ride hacks. And so we worked on this list a few weeks ago um, and just kind of um, went over a few things that we think are things that will help to um, be able to make the most out of your Disney experience. So that's the video that we're gonna put together, but we're also working on another series of videos that we're also gonna try to work on and uh, weave into this. That way we can maximize one trip and get three videos out of it. Um, and so we'll be doing this video where we um, show you what it looks like when we prepare before and after going to Disney World. And then uh, this other video about Disney ride hacks. And then we're doing a series of videos about um, what you can get for $100 at each park. So what you can get uh, for $100 at Epcot and what you can get for $100 at Animal Kingdom, what you can get for $100 at Magic Kingdom, and then what you can get for $100 at Hollywood Studios. So we're gonna do $100 at Magic Kingdom tomorrow. And then next time we go to Disney World, which is in two weeks, we're gonna do what you can get for $100 at Hollywood Studios. So we try to plan those things in advance. That way when we arrive at the park, um, I can let Elena know what our agenda is and the angle that we're shooting that particular day. And I kind of cover some of the informational side of that. And then she knows um, how to fit in the other shots and the things we're doing with the kids along the particular storyline. That way our videos have a point. So actually plans have changed. <laughs> Vivian has gotten sick and she had a fever of like over 102. It's like 102 and then last night as I was doing filming my video and doing all the preparations for us to leave today to go to Disney, she ended up with a 102 fever and throwing up. So plans have changed slightly. Yeah, so we've just spent the morning around the house um, relaxing and stuff and she's feeling better now. Um, so that's good that she's improving. She bounces back pretty quickly once she, if she gets sick. Usually it doesn't last more than 24 hours, but we just decided that it was better not to take our sick child up to Disney World today. So it'll be a couple of weeks. We'll go do the next thing again, but this is life. This is how it goes. Even though we're not actually going to Disney today, all hope is not lost on all the stuff that I did last night to prepare for it because now I have a fully stocked diaper bag for the rest of the week and I don't even have to worry if I go somewhere else because it's already full of snacks and an extra outfit and all the things that I would normally use throughout the day. So at least I'm good to go. And thankfully our house has been stocked with some snacks to enjoy because usually Monday's our cheat day anyway. So I was a little disappointed that we weren't gonna be able to do the spend $100 on food and Magic Kingdom day thing. So instead, I mean these little Drumstick things, pretty good. And of course, I have to share. Here you go, bud. What's this? <laughs> Is that the hen? doo Stop, stop, you've got it wrong, he said. Rawr, said the lion. What's he say? <laughs> 